gotcha. What? What a night. There is one question in this world, John, that you should be asking yourself every day. Are you truly happy? Happiness comes from your brain. What? That melody. Amy? Now, Bob lived in his little hole in the ground and was totally happy with his life. The earth was warm and comfortable, just like your bed. And with that, he was quite satisfied. But one day, Bob realized that the world around him was changing. It was growing cold and damp and wasn't comfortable at all anymore. This made Bob very sad. Because when the what world is changed, that? Bob would have to change too. And neither his happiness nor his lovely long belly could stay the same. So the I'm losing my mind. I'm actually losing my mind. Or, or is this some kind of stupid test? Steve? Oh, Richard. You don't look good. It's fine. Just ran into a bit of trouble. With the dealer downstairs, you mean? <laughs> what are you doing? Come up here. By being a Martian colonist on Red One, you are helping create a new world. Start fresh. Bob took your job. Where did you work? <laughs> In a bot factory. What? The bots are assembling themselves now? A bit more complex than that. But I needed something catchy for the sign. Sorry, I uh, only have this bar here. My assembler's acting up. Oh, thanks, sir. You're a saint. Mars, our future. By being a Martian colonist on Red One. 
Help our authorities fight illness and disease. Help our authorities fight crime. Man, Richard, look at you. You're, you're a walking corpse. Did you at least get what you wanted? Yep, here. Don't look at me like that. It's just a password. Will you help me? Fine. But I can tell you right now that it's not gonna be quick. I can't do that all online. I have to get a copy of the database first. How long will that take? A day, at least. <sighs> okay. I have some other stuff to do anyway. You know, concerning those dealers. Are you gonna report them? You know, I'd be careful if I were you. You know what one of those guys told me? That I'm dead. What? I, that, that's a joke, surely. Or a threat. Didn't sound like it. Some guy called Jay is telling everybody, apparently. Richard, Welcome they're the junkies. Place. They're high. They hang out all day in Neverland or wherever it is they go these days. Jay, or maybe J-A-Y? Do you know who they meant by that? Maybe a hacker. Something was with his arm. Huh. A hacker. Jay, something with his arm. Augmented, maybe. Th that rings a bell. Wasn't there a, a narco? Uh, hold on. I'll send you some material from the archives. Maybe you'll find him there. Okay. Wonderful. Jack McHale. Good Lord. Jeff Kazowski, augmented arm. Jack McHale again. Can't be him. connected to the Doomsday Club. The Breakpoint Hackers, probably. Kazowski, wanted terrorist in hiding. In hiding? Okay, but where? This, this is something.
Missing something. Have a look at that. That can't be right. Look at this. I'm missing something. This is something. Here, this looks interesting. Jeff Kozowski. Researcher in the field of robotics. Augmentation of the right lower arm. Luddite. Breakpoint went under the radar. Connections to Berlin's anarchy scene. Doomsday. That's an anarchist's club. I could try there. Okay, Steve. Thanks. I'll call you about the move scan search. You want to go to Doomsday? Are you mad? There's a raid there every other week. I want to know why I am apparently dead. Oh, come on, Richard. That's just junky talk. You're alive. Concentrate on Tracy and James. And on your health. I don't know, Steve. I don't have a good feeling about it. Why does he think I'm dead? Maybe he knows something about James, too. children help our authorities improve the lives of future generations I don't have time sir you should consider taking the time Communication service of the cloud. 
The hackers were still for two minutes. didn't recognize you. You've some nerve to come back here. Isn't this where the scum of techno-capitalism gathers to die? In your article back then? Sorry, Faye, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Okay, one second. Somebody's coming. Hey, man, do you play Neverland? You need a starter kit? I can get you everything, your houses, your ships, wings. You sell real life things too? <laughs> real life? Yeah, sure, if you're in it. You you name it, I got it. Uh, what do you need, man? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, some noob, I'll, I'll disconnect. I'll consider it, okay? Where's Tracy? You. Why not? This isn't your kind of place. I'll be fine, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you think so? You got a code or a companion code? Ah, <sighs> not so. Go home to your family. Hey, what did we agree on? Hey. Does one of you have a companion code for me? Uh, not for you, man. The fascists will attack today, bet you. Let them come. I'm prepared. Hold on, yeah. Yeah, the guy is back. I need a companion code. Great. Give me your ID and I'll send it tomorrow. I need it. Now. Okay, forget it. Why are you standing outside? No companion code? I've been trying to reach Mina. All signals have been disabled. Mina's at the club? <laughs> Mina's always at the club. I need a companion code. Oh, I'm so sorry.
Indicate all signals within Sector 36 are disabled. Damn, no reception. You have reception? You're joking. Can't you see what's going on here? Reception? Of course. How do you get it? Wizard. I could get it for you, but it's not entirely legal. I get that. How much? 900? 900? I can live for a month off that much. Hey, there are drones everywhere, man. You want a deal like that? Go to Neverland. Fine. And here you go. Your wizard. First time we've ever had a chat. Hey, listen, Mina, I need to meet a couple of people at the club and... You don't have a companion code. I'll send you one. Meet me inside by the entrance. New data from unknown. My companion code. Where'd you get that from? All right, in you go. But don't tell me I didn't warn you. Richard Nolan, in Doomsday. Tracy's gonna kill you. You don't have to tell her. Well, she never calls anyway. Mina. No, it's fine. I get it. Family, kids. It hasn't been easy for her recently. Oh, come on. She still calls Jennifer. Is she still working for Bote? <laughs> you really haven't seen each other in a while. How are you? Stressed. Got three shows next week. I'm going crazy. Really? For a big designer? Yep. Front and center. Not bad. Tracy's probably jealous, right? You come here often, right? Yeah. Why not? I got everything I need here. Methylene and shots. You were always a charmer, Richard. I'm looking for a certain Jeff. Kazowski, I think he's called. Kazowski? Oh, God. What do you want from him? I... just need to get to know him. Uh-huh. Well, if you need to, ask Louisa. Behind the bar. She's into guys like him. Richard, wait a second. What? Does Tracy still do... you know? No, I don't, you know. <sighs> don't look at me like that. I need to escape sometimes, you know. I really can't help you out there, Mina. Then at least give me a couple of credits. I'm completely broke. How is that possible? Thanks. You're the best. Hey, you come here often now, huh? Taking a break from family life? Must feel good.
Get lost. Please. Coming up. Hey, you look like Richard Nolan. I get that a lot. I'd put money on it. But he was younger, right? Who, Nolan or me? Nolan was great. You don't remember Drone Gate? That was big. Yeah, that was big ten years ago. Malcolm. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone. A certain Jeff. Jeff? Everybody knows. There's no Jeff here. I've heard he comes here often. Yeah? What's your name? Richard Nolan. <laughs> You're real funny. Maybe we should have a drink. Oh, sure, I've never heard that one before. The narc wants to buy me a drink. What do you think of that? I got another suggestion. You finish your drink and disappear. Hey. What's with Jeff? Why are you meeting up with Okay, that? Richard Nolan. I'll tell you something. In this place, you better not ask dumb questions. Either you know people, or you don't. You got it? I wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important. If it was important, you'd know Jeff. Huh. Here you are again. He doesn't get it, does he? Listen, I'd like to help you, but... There's no Jeff here. <laughs> Another cocktail? Not now, thanks. Okay, let me know. fun you don't happen to have the barmaid's contact do you louisa what you got planned i just want to talk to her sure if you say so i'll send it to you for a few credits okay service fees and all i've just transferred you some you're a darling i'll send you louisa's data wow 30 credits seriously I'm not your dealer, Mina. Oh, God. Not your dealer, Mina. No wonder you can only get girls when they're high. Not here. Not here. Not yet. Not yet.
assistant, aren't you? Listen, I'm not a narc. I have to talk to Jeff. What's so important? I have to tell him that myself. Hmm, not how it works, darling. I need more than that. Okay, fine. He's been telling people I'm dead. Dead? Yes, dead. Obviously, I'd like to talk to him about that. Not how it works. What the? I need more. I need more. Hey. Who are you? Not important. Go to the control room for the light show. Second floor. What? I'll be in touch. Nobody back home is going to believe this. Come up to the lounge. Carl will let you in. You're looking for your family, right? How do you know? A little birdie told me. I have to speak to Jeff Kozowski. Many do. Richard Nolan? That's me. And you're Jeff, right? What the hell, man? You're dead. Yeah, I heard that too. How did you survive? How did you get out of the building? There were bots and drones everywhere. I think I'd like my questions answered first. I can't believe it. It probably happened just when the upload was happening. That's a serious override. Your mind shouldn't be here. At the very least, you should be in a coma. What are you talking about? I want to know what's going on now. <sighs> I have to talk to a couple of people first. Tell me now! Hey, hey, no need to get loud, okay? Richard, according to our sources, you were in one of Kurt's labs about a week ago. Were you doing research there? Were you there of your own free will? I wasn't in a Kurt's lab. I had an accident. Okay, you, you don't know anything. We thought it might have been something to do with your work. We didn't find out until after the attack that you were there. I have no idea what you're talking about. Richard, you saw the news. The attack on Kurt's labs. It hit the building that you were in. I promise, we had no idea, otherwise we would have... I wasn't in a lab. I was in a cab. You were in the lab. We didn't find out until after the evaluation. We could trace you. You carried out the attack? And why was I there? Tracy and James, were they? Okay, Richard, listen. Kurt's labs have been working on a project. We recently found out about it. They have been transferring enormous amounts of data to an unknown server for weeks. We think they have found a way to upload brains. Upload brains? As in mind uploads? Exactly. They're uploading people, probably against their will. Mind uploads? Exactly. And we believe they have uploaded you. Me? Yeah. That's crazy. I'm here. You are. That's the amazing part. But some of your data is somewhere else. Somewhere else? Where? We don't know exactly. It has to be some sort of digital construct. We tried to infiltrate it. We made a data link to upload a guy called Charlie. But the connection with him was severed. So then we tried to make contact with you. But I am here. Yes and no. There is some kind of copy of you. It's probably been modified. A copy? You mean a second Richard? A second person. We don't know how different he is to you and what is missing from him. In a moment, we'll try to upload data to him from your biography to stabilize the connection. 
Most of your data has been deleted, though. So we have to make do with second and third grade material. Relatives, acquaintances, everyone you ever came into contact with. How much data do you have? A, a lot, Richard. But still just a fraction of what Kurt's labs has gathered. Uh, you need a moment, right? I was in a cab. It crashed. I went to the hospital. No, Richard. They tried to upload you. Uh, and my family? They've disappeared, both of them. Did you have problems? Problems? What makes you think that? Just trying to make sense of it all. How did you get in the lab? Was it your decision? Did you agree to the upload? I, I don't remember. Maybe your alter ego knows more. He's a part of you. Contact him. He goes by the name of Adam Newman. You want me to... We have access to your database. It's completely encrypted. You can't read any of it. But he probably can. Why? Because he is in a virtual world. That one is me? No. That one's a virtual construct. Based on your memories, he probably can't even remember your life. You'll have to change that. What for? So he'll believe us. So he'll help us find Charlie. And your family. You'll get your life back together, and we'll know what Kurtz is getting up to. Who's we? Breakpoint? Uh, I have to reconstruct my memory? Both of your memories. Okay, I guess that's enough for now, right? Go now. Be careful. How... How can I contact you? You can't. I'll contact you. Phil will give you a couple of toys. You'll need them. We'll stay in touch, Richard. Count on it. And... How was it with Jeff? Revealing. He said you had something for me. Ah, yeah. Just some standard equipment. First things first. A hacked ID. If you get caught with this thing, you're in trouble. Got it? Got it. Good. I'll also set up a cloud call encryption for you. And we're done. For now. You're off the data radar. Any questions? Nah. Well then. Welcome to the other side of the law. Go to the terminal, and I'll show you a couple of our tricks. I'll show you how to take control of a search drone. Go. You're in. Look at everything. Get a feel for the system. Get to know the controls first. Good. We're searching for a Jack. A Jack someone. He works for a virtual reality company. See if you can find him. He's bald and has a beard. If the pictures we have are still accurate. That's not him. Keep looking. Okay, so bald and a beard. Jack something.
looking. that what did you do don't worry my friend you know the old phrase the more you know the less you know This is a police station. 